curious about how you can get your hands on 6.25 bitcoins worth a whopping 144,000 US dollars. This video will guide you every step of the way. All right, so these are the only things you're really gonna need. This is the most important one here. This is the Compact F. This is what's gonna allow us to solo mine. And I'll leave a link to this one in the description. This one has the fan. You could buy it without the fan. I got mine with the fan and it's about $200 on Amazon. The next thing you're gonna need from Amazon is this powered USB hub. And the reason you're gonna need this is because it's a USB hub and it has to be powered. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. To set this up, it's pretty simple. Just take your USB hub and uh, make sure that you connect it to the power. Power it on. Now, after it's powered on, make sure you connect your Compact F to one of the USB ports here. Now you make sure you connect your fan to another USB port. And that's pretty much it. Now the final step is to make sure you connect it to your USB 3.0 port of your computer. All right guys, so now we have our USB miner connected and it's powered on. Now we have to set it up. So I have this URL opened here. The link will be in the description. And the first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, click on this where it says uh, software. On the software, this first link here. Once you click on the link, uh, it should download like a zip file. Uh, once you downloaded that zip file, extract it to your desktop. So. I already I already extracted mine. This is what the file looks like. The first thing we're gonna need to do is okay, download that. We did that. Now we have CG Miner in our directory here. Now we have to install this link here, SDIG. Double click this, click yes. All right, I installed mine. You're gonna need to install yours. So the so we're gonna follow along with these steps right here. So the first thing we need to do is click on options, list all devices, click on this list here, scroll down until you find your uh, compact F bit Bitcoin miner. That's the one well, we're going to set up now. Now we're going to click on reinstall drivers, click on reinstall drivers. So now they're installed successfully. So we're going to hit close. Now we can close this right here. All right, so our drivers are installed. We're going to scroll down here. Now the, now we're going to need to do is we're going to need to right click this uh, bat file, start dash CG miner dot bat, right click it and open it, open it with a text editor. I'm just going to use notepad plus plus. This is uh, where all the info is going to be uh, right here uh, where it says compact F dot frequency 400. That's the lowest frequency you, you could have it on. So that's the lowest frequency you could have it on to overclock it. You can overclock it all the way up until 800. So this is the lowest setting here. And again, 800 would be the highest. So if you don't have a fan on yours, I wouldn't overclock it too high. So the next thing we're going to need to do is, uh, right here this is where you would paste your bitcoin address so this is an example bitcoin address right here paste yours exactly where the spot is here and the final step is uh this here is the solo mining pool yours is going to look different by the way because i already updated mine so all you have to do is paste this uh link right here where it says like solo.ckpool.org i'm going to leave this part in the description right here so you can just copy and paste it there and then once that's done you're gonna hit save. We're gonna save the file, right? So when you save the file, close it. Now the final step is to actually run the miner now. To run the miner, all you have to do is double click this file now instead of right clicking. So just double click. It should start the miner and make sure everything is connected. It's gonna go through the process of uh, you know checking the pool, the address, and making sure that you have a miner connected. See, we have ours connected right here. So ours works and is working fine. And it found our pool up here. So this is our pool. This here would be your Bitcoin address. So give it a couple of minutes. Once we see uh, something that was accepted, then we know it's actually working. Right now we have an average of 70 uh, giga hash. Again, it's on the lowest setting. You can overclock it to, when overclocked, it should go up to like 300 giga hash. All right, so now it's actually solo mining. As you can see right here, uh, th this was accepted. So that means it's actually working. So now you are literally solo mining. And if you don't know, solo mining basically means uh, you're not part of any pool and you're using your own hardware to try to uh, solve the Bitcoin puzzle or question, right? So again, if, if you do solve the question, right? And you, and you, and you actually, uh, and, and you were accepted, then uh, you, you win, I believe six point something Bitcoin, which is equivalent right now to like almost $150,000. So, and it could happen. It's happened before. I mean, people have used Raspberry Pis with these type of miners and they have actually uh, solved the puzzle and they were given, you know, six point whatever Bitcoin and, and it worked. And this pretty much it for this video if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel i'm rasim from ross Mertech, and thank you for watching